In this lecture, I'm going to tell you how you can create your own search campaign on Google Ads. Now, let's get started on this. This is the URL for which I'm going to create the search campaign on Google Ads account. So before uh, I'm going to create a campaign, I need to know that what kind of services are being promoted on a single landing page. For instance, this landing page is about Google Ads disapproval service. Now over here you can see that there are a total of six services being provided on Google Ads disapproval page. So you need to keep in mind when you are going to create ad groups on your account. Remember the rule, the more structured your campaign is, the better results you are going to get. So now we are going to move on to our Google Ads dashboard over here. You can create your campaign uh, by multiple ways. The number one way is you can create by selecting the create over here. Or the second way is when you are in your campaigns, you can simply select the plus over here. So you can use either of them to create your campaign. So when you select the plus, you are going to select the campaign over here. And then in your campaign, you are going to uh, select whatever your sales objective is. Let's say we want to get as much sales as possible. So we are going to select the sales as our campaign objective after this. You can see over here that this is our conversion tracking goal which is set up. After this we are going to do the continue and move on to a campaign type. And then we are going to select the search campaign over here. After this they are asking our three goals. Whatever your primary goal is you are going to select. But since we are going to land traffic on our website we are going to select the website visit over here. And we are going to copy this URL and going to paste over here. After this simply select the continue over here. Then you can name your campaign. It's ideally very good to organize your campaign. You can write it over here. Ads, Google Ads, this approval service. So it's easy to structure, easy to remember. After this, you can see over here, there are multiple bidding strategies which are being offered over here. For instance, conversions, conversions value, clicks, and impression share. Let's start from clicks. Once you select the click, you can see over here that you have an option of setting a maximum cost per click and then you can set a, a CPC based on maximum click. And if you select impression share, with impression share bidding, you can target where do you want to show your ad. For instance, you want to show anywhere on results page, top of results page or absolute top of, of results page. Ideally, it's very good for those people who are very concerned regarding where their ad wanted to be displayed. However, the impression share takes time to approve and it's very, very expensive as compared to other campaign type. So I only recommend this when you are getting good traffic and good conversions with specific ad position. For instance, when you are getting very good results with absolute top of results page, then you can run your impression share. Now, uh, the other bidding strategies are related to conversions where you can set a cost co cost per action where do you uh, where you are going to tell Google that ideally you are looking at uh, the conversions at this rate. This is your maximum CPA budget assigned for conversions. You can also assign conversion value depending on if your uh, landing page is offering products on different rates, then you can select conversion value as well. After this, select the customer acquisition. Bid for new customers only selection is when you only want to target new customers. However, when your campaign want you to target old and existing customers as well as new customers, you do not have to check for this option as well. So you can see over here, by default, your campaign bids equally for new and existing customers. After this, simply select the next over here and you move on to your campaign settings. Now over here, when you are going to try, when you're going to run a search campaign, ideally, I do not recommend to run Google Display Network and Google Search Campaign together because that is how, uh, since display campaigns have less CTR, your overall CTR will be affected and your quality score will go down and you will eventually have to pay more and your conversions will not work accurately. Also, Google is recommending it. I'm strongly not recommending it. So I highly recommend you guys to simply uncheck this network. Now coming on to search partners network, I have seen different results with different clients. Some clients have praised search partner network. So you can create uh, a separate search partner network campaign as well to see if search partner networks are working well for or not. However, my ideal suggestion is also uncheck this as well. 
Just to remember, I'm not uh, saying that Google Display Network is not good. However, I'm recommending to create a separate command for Google Display Network to see uh, what kind of a data and sales you are getting through it. As marketing is all about uh, tracking data, so the more accurate the data is, the better decisions you can make on. After this, select your locations. Now you can see over here that although uh, <coughs> you have an option of all countries and territories, you can select Pakistan or you can select any other location over here. Let's say I want you to target India. I'm going to select India and I'm going to include as well. And for instance, if I want you to exclude a specific country where I do not want my ad to be shown, I can also show over here. Now, uh, sorry, uh, now uh, there is an, uh, uh, you know, exclude option over here as well. Now, you may be wondering that since I'm targeting India only, why I have an option of excluding Australia when I'm not targeting Australia, how will I get traffic from Australia? So ideally, the excluded location works well when you want to target the whole country, but do not want to target a specific country. For instance, right now, I am targeting the whole India. However, if I do not want to target New York, uh, New Delhi, I'm going to remove it from over here as well. I'm going to simply select the exclude over here. So let's say in my targeting country, I also add Pakistan. But since I do not want my ad to be shown in Lahore, Pakistan, I'm going to exclude Lahore, Pakistan from over here as well. So you can see over here, my included locations and my excluded locations over here. If you scroll below, you can see that you have an option of advanced search. You can simply select that, that one as well. And you can write an area over here as well to uh, do pinpoint by targeting. Let's say I'm going to write over here, Islamabad. Pakistan, I can in include, exclude or write nearby over here and see around nearby locations over here, which comes near to Islamabad and I can target those as well from over here. I can also do radius targeting. If I move over to the radius, I can also to, uh, do radius targeting as per my location as mode as well. For instance, I want you to target a location, uh, let's say M Mumbai, India. I'm going to write over here and I can also do, let's say I want you to target on five miles for Mumbai, India. I'm going to write over here include and you can see over here that it is only targeting Mumbai five mile. And I can also do pin port and I can also make pins over here as well for my targeting. For instance, I want to target this one. I'm going to say include or exclude over here as well. So what I'm going to do is I can also do small ping points over here as well. You can see over here that I can do over here the pin mode and I can, I can simply include over here to select a custom location being targeted over here as well. After I'm done with my location setting, simply going to select save over here and then move on to include presence or interest or presence. You are being provided with two location options. I highly recommend people to offer presence. Presence or interest do not work well as you know they are thinking or as it's being shown as recommended. No. What happens with when you select presence or interest, the people who have interest, who actually have interest in your area, they are either using proxy or they are using your general uh, location settings in the Google search. Their ad, your ad will also be shown to them, which is highly, uh, you know, uh, not, uh, you know, it doesn't uh, generate good results. In my opinion, in my experience, in my testing over here, for years, I recommend people to do presents and you will get more accuracy and better conversions when you select presents. Because in presents or interest, people from other regions are highly, highly, you know, much more likely to see your ads, which isn't a good sign since you are targeting custom locations. After you select this, move on to your location languages. Now you can select multiple languages when you are trying to create a specific campaign. I have also discussed in other campaign settings as well. I can select all languages. I can select multiple languages like over here, or I can select a single language over here. If I remove all languages, it's going to be automatically all lang languages. However, since I wanted, you know, the English is the most popular, most common, I'm going to select over here as well, right over here. Now you can see over here, I have an option. After this, you are being provided with audience segments. Now the audience segment, you can see over here that with audience segment, I in the search campaign, I have been provided with various options such as I can uh, target category wise, uh, wise on technology, business services, lifestyle, hobbies, media entertainment. I can select anyone as well. And you can see over here that it is being created over here. Now this is on observation. 
when i move to the targeting i can select based on targeting as well however since the observation is recommended at a new campaign observation is fine as being recommended after this i recommend you to off this broad match keyword and then move on to the more uh, settings and you can see over here by default your setting is ad rotation where optimized best performing ad is being selected however if you want all your ads to be distributed equally you can select uh, do not optimize ads when you are trying to run multiple ads and you wanted to see which ad is working well you have to select the do not optimize however if you are trying to run and campaign with a single ad for a single ad group you can select the optimize after this select more settings and you can see over here that your dates are being decided in case if you want to run your ad from a specific date to a specific date you can select from over here select your start date and select your end date over here and in case if you do not want to have any end date you can simply select end as a non date or otherwise you can select your end date from over here and select any date as your end date after this select more settings and you can see over here you can select your ad schedule over here now when you are uh, trying to set ad schedule remember that the ad schedule is going to be according to your uh, region where your account is created since this account is being created in gmt5 pakistan standard time zone so you have to uh, convert and see which area which location you are targeting you need to understand the ad uh, schedule or ad timing of that area before selecting the ad schedule so now i can select monday to friday a specific timings i can have also have uh, different timings for saturday sunday i can also have different timing for let's say monday i can have for tuesday so i can create over here i can select like from 12:45 to i'm just showing you as an example however what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it for all days now since the uh, campaign is new I want you to get data of what kind of a traffic is working well then I will work on ad schedule and later optimize my campaign as per the data after this simply select the next over here you don't have to worry with campaign URL options or brand uh, after this simply select next and then you will move on to your keyword and asset duration now since you are targeting google ads disk approval remember that these six are separate services and you are not going to have all of the keywords in one ad group if you uh, ask them you know uh, they are going to uh, create uh, automatically you know uh, different keywords in one ad group which is an not a good strategy when you are trying to create your search campaign whenever you are seeing over here that you are going to get multiple suggestions so an ideal thing is to create a specific uh, you know uh, ad for and specific keywords for each service so let's say in this we, we are going to create separate service for compromise site separate for unreliable claims so what i'm going to do is i'm going to search for over here as compromise site and i'm going to see the results Also, I can use uh, competitive keywords like SpyFu, which can help me to find out uh, what kind of keywords my competitors are running around. So I can also search over here to see. Keyword option as well. I can also write over here the correct one to get updated suggestions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove other irrelevant keywords and I'm going to put brackets over here so that I can only get traffic from exact match keyword over here and from the data over here as well I got few keyword ideas Google Ads compromise site is already over here after this this is my headline over here so Although they are suggesting yes, so I'm go you know I can also see if there is any advertiser you know running ads. You can see over here there are multiple people who are re running ad, so I can get from an idea from them as well. Also, when I'm trying to uh, create ads, I remember I need to pin my headings. Otherwise, they will also be randomly being placed anywhere on your headings being fluctuated all the time.
it's always a good idea to mention the prices so the customers have an approximate idea of how much they have to pay this way you can also help uh, to see that the customers when they are, dry, they are trying to click on your ad they are menti menti mentally ready to pay that specific amount after this select your description over here you can see the view ideas over here and then you know they are being su suggesting you with different ideas based on the services you are providing you can see over here i can select this one as well and i can save over here as well and i can also write over here as well after this you can also select your business logos over here and then since Google has automatically picked my site links from over here, I can amend, I can adjust over here. Also, if I look around for more assets, I can add promotions, prices, calls, structured snippet asset or lead form to make my ad more optimized. After this, simply select the done over here and then select the next over here. And then Google is suggesting me multiple budgets to run my ad. So if i select this daily budget approximately i'm going to get 225 weekly conversions at this i can select this one as well so it's all up to my own personal preference or i can set a custom budget over here as well so let's say i'm going with this one after this i'm going to select the next one over here and now google is checking for errors for my campaign and you can see that there are no errors and my campaign is ready to be published at 72.2 percent optimization rate after this it's going to be published. I'm going to publish the campaign and uh, and you can see over here that your ads will go live after our review. All ads are checked to ensure they are safe and appropriate for everyone. This editorial and policy review should take one to two business days. So you can see over here that the Google tag being found on my website, I'm going to use this as well for conversion tracking and I'm going to select the confirm over here for the process. Your tag was successfully installed on your website, your campaign is in policy review and it usually take one to two days and after this your ad is being approved or if there is any editorial issues, Google notifies you automatically.